we're going to pick up my grandpa Ron and take him golfing. But I'm driving the Lambo right now because I want to get his reaction to one, riding in it with me, and then two, driving it himself. Everything he does is funny or amazing in some way. So uh, I think this should be pretty entertaining. Is that a Lambo? Yeah. You want to check it out? Yes. Wait, really? You guys live there? Oh, yep. yeah, we live right there. You know who you're living across the street from? Yeah, yeah we, we know. know. Ron? Hello. Is he a legend in the neighborhood? <laughs> yeah, he's yeah, he crazy. Is. <laughs> no, he's good, he's good. He doesn't cause too much trouble. Hello? Hey, girl. How you doing? Great, nice shirt. Yeah, you like that? Are you selling any of that shit? We no. sold 11 of them. We thought you'd be a bigger hit. Who the hell wants a picture of me on your shirt? <laughs> no, they sold good. They sold real good. Okay, good. You want to go golfing? Where? Today? Yeah. Where? Top golf or something? Good. All right. Oh, shit. Yeah, you gotta fall into it. Holy shit. Here we go. This better rig. That's <laughs> good. Do you have any of your neighbors home? Doesn't matter. All right, Grandma, we're gonna try to have him home in one piece this time. Oh, you promise? Yeah, I promise. <laughs> you ready? Head back up. So just back a little bit up. I could take this in my class, but you can shut that. What is it? June sometime. You can take it. Nah, but you can take this one, or you can take our green one. The green one I should take. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be. I might do that. Scared you? No, no. How is it, Grandpa? Perfect. Could be a little faster, maybe. <laughs> you wanna drive? Oh, not, no, not today. Let's switch. You drive. I can't drive this car. Yeah, you can. I hope you got good insurance. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> Minivans are passing us yeah. right now. This guy's looking at you funny. Really? He was probably wondering why you never turned after having the blinker on for 20 minutes. Just try to take it a little angle. Oh. I took an angle. Yeah, I know. It's all right. You made it in one piece. How was it? He gave it to me. Oh, it was yours now? Yeah. It's pretty nice though. We gotta sell more Grandpa Ron t-shirts if that's yeah, the case. Yeah. yeah, for sure. He was driving it more like a degenerate than I do. Shit. I drove the same way you did. Go uh, grab a drink, loosen up. Well, why not? These two guys together, nothing but trouble here. So I'm driving home then. Give me the keys. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you can handle it? <laughs> All right, Grandpa. I didn't think I'd have to say this bowling. I probably should have, but don't hurt yourself. Do my damnedest. You hurt myself bowling, did I? <laughs> this is like your trial to see if you're good enough to go reckless golfing, and by good enough, I mean. Uh, bad enough to wreck this oh, golf bad enough. Oh, yeah. You'll be perfect. You go yeah. more than any of us. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> Golf's four days a week. Five, usually. Maybe <laughs> six somewhere. When the hell did that go? Not bad. Pretty good. A little good. sliced. When the hell did it go? I didn't even see it. That's straight, that Grandpa. Solid. Nice. Holy smoke. That's 145 at least. At least. Not easy getting old. You make it look pretty good, Grandpa. Yeah. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Can't drive. We'll see if we can hit the ball. It's gonna be a bad day when I beat you, Grandpa. Oh! Hey, you like that slice? Learned everything I know from you. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh, that was bad, Micah. We're looking good compared to that one. For somebody who golfs six days a week, I thought you'd be better. You think I would be, wouldn't you? I don't have time to get better. I got some more aiming fluid for us. Oh, great, I need that. Oh shit, that's out there. That's out there a long way. Wow. Grandpa is so proud of Evan. He's I, I, the grandson I, that can golf that he never had. <laughs> you don't call him country golf for nothing. Yeah, okay, when the men are men, the sheep are afraid. What's that mean? Oh, you, got... you don't know what that means? Next time we go golfing, we'll go on an actual golf course. Okay. Hey, do you think we could use your golf cart when we go golfing? I don't care. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
<laughs> hey guys, brief break in the video today to give a big shout out to our sponsor, BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. So with BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. So to get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's text, chat, phone, or video call. That's the best part is that it takes all the nerves out of therapy. And if your therapist isn't right for you for any reason, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional cost. With BetterHelp, you get the same professionalism and experience that you'd expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you, more scheduling flexibility, and at a more affordable price. So get 10% off when you visit betterhelp.com slash cboys. Gonna put the link in the description below as well. That's betterhelp.com slash cboys. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Now back to it. Pulling up to our friends over at U Motors. Got to pick up another jet ski. After last year, there was a few holes in the bottom of it. Might have left out the deepest part of the lake. Might not have. I guess the DNR will never know. But anyways, yeah, another spark. Damn, it's popping. <laughs> Selling stuff like crazy. What up? It's shaking, guys. What's up, dude? Holy fuck. Got you some merch. Thank you very much. I appreciate of course. it. You guys got any R6s around here? No, I don't stock R6s. Okay. And they actually don't make them anymore. <laughs> Might be going extinct with us. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> we start buying them as investments because they're going up in value, but we destroy yeah, all of them. All right, there she is, the new chariot. Damn, this thing is nice. You know what this kind of reminds me of? And you're going to hate me for saying this? You ever seen one of those kids in middle school with the Under Armour on? <laughs> looks that like, does not look like that. Looks like Evan's dirt bike sitting over here. <laughs> that looks way nicer than Evan's dirt bike. The lime green. <laughs> and to think this guy was giving me a hard time about having red wheels. Freaking jet ski on the flatbed trailer says a lot. We're running out of trailers with these things. Maybe not. <laughs> so as you guys have seen in the past, we love pushing the limits when it comes to jet skiing. I don't even know what you'd call our kind of jet skiing. It's its, its own type of craft. But anyways, in the spring is one of the best seasons for jet skiing because when there's still half the lake frozen, it provides for another terrain to jet ski on. These people are like, you guys can't just go normal jet skiing. You gotta have gators or ice or a road or something involved. These sparks are really tough. Best part about them, they have plastic hulls. So you can kind of push the limits of hitting stuff and not having to worry about damaging fiberglass. I think this one went off like a 20 foot jump. We also brought the Evo jet today, which just is like a modified spark, just with a different hull and a seat. It's, this thing's sick, it's really fun. And then our buddy Mark brought his mini jet. Yeah, this thing's probably the toughest of them all. I think it's gonna be more fun today when you yeah. look at the drone because we can actually drive through it. We're really doing, honestly, the community a service because as you break up this ice, it's gonna be able to melt quicker and everyone will be able to get to yeah. Getting on the water, you know? You know, well, they should start paying us. These things are like the tight. oh, well. They're like the icebreakers. I thought, I was gonna say the Titanic, but I remember I, the Titanic I song. I don't wanna call something the Titanic. <laughs> what do I do, am I good? Hold, oh, oh. because it's like a track. stand out here. Look at this. That's actually pretty crazy. <laughs> Is 
Is it just me or do none of these jet skis sound as good as they did when we put them in? The thing that people don't realize is when you use jet ski on this frozen ice, it's like putting ice in a blender. It sharpens your impeller and actually makes these things faster. Really? Yep. Oh, that's, okay. That's why we have the fastest sparks on the lake. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm so cold. You're not even in the water. Dude, it, this thing splashes you so much. Like, I thought I was going to be the dry, warm one. It's brutal. <laughs> Man, I would love if Mike just fell through. <laughs> oh boy! Oh. oh my god, I almost fell off! Holy crap, that was scary! Oh man! He went back. What? He was real cold. I got cold. And I, I kind of got to the point where like, I am fine with everyone making fun of me for being the first one off the lake. I was frozen. What's the guy gonna do? How about you, Ken? My feet are f***ing frozen. I gotta... <laughs> gotta what? <laughs> That's pretty fun. Good stuff, boys. Man, it's a bad day when Ryan has to come to the rescue in the Hummer. Yeah, I never thought I'd be saved by the Hummer. The Suburban's transmission went out. Shocking. I don't like it. If anybody have a couple gallons of gas I can borrow, I'm out. I'd maybe start with some oil in the motor. You want to explain to me what, what you're doing or explain to the people at home? We're going to see if the R6 can skip on the water. So Evan tried water skipping Mike's dirt bike last year and it sunk to the bottom. And basically he's been saving this thing for until the ice came off the pond. So that way he could give it another try because this has more power. Last time this thing ran, it was getting drug out of the mountains for like 10 miles. So it's just thrashed. How confident are you in this? Mmm, 50-50. Wait. Yep. Well, this is quite the setup. This is hold on, hold on. Are, are we sure the tow rig is gonna be able to get it over to the pond 100 yards that way? Yeah, it'll be fine. This it, thing's I do better gas, days. though. You putting race gas in this thing or what? Premium, only the best for my baby. This thing needs a lot more than premium. Rolling up to your big stunt in this thing. This isn't normal R6 gear. I don't think we've done a single video where you're wearing normal R6 gear. That's so true. I haven't seen something smoke so bad since Ryan drove his Hummer over here. It's gearing, it just doesn't turn the track. We need massive re-gearing. Well, maybe I guess back to the drawing board. All right, we made a couple changes. The first one being the front end. Before it was like, it looked like it wanted a taco just sitting still. We pretty much just made it go forward. So now the front of the ski is up in the air. The second thing that we did, lowered this bar in here. So now she's basically low riding. She looks almost like she could be a dragster. And we think that this should fix the problem. We're not 100% sure, but Evan's feeling good about it. You're not more confident? I mean, slightly more confident, but. <sighs> Out of everything we've done with these R6s, you haven't thought twice about it, and now this one is, is well, you're getting skeptical? We, well, we did a trial run with it, and we found out our gearing was whack. Yeah, and we're but, trying again with the same no, gearing. You, <laughs> just no, adjust the ski pressure. Mind. The gearing is screwed. Let's adjust the ski pressure and run it. Okay, he's got a point. I'm committing to success, not surprised by failure. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was so bad, dude. <laughs> That's close. Come pick me up. What are you doing? We got to get under the water to pull the buoy off it or the rope. I oh, there it is. There it is. You gotta, you gotta give, me, give me your helmet. Take the life jacket off, dude. You gotta take the life jacket off. You gotta fuck it. You're gonna first go, 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 I gotta go. Go. <laughs> That bike's gone. We're never gonna get it. Oh, it's so cold. Um, what? what happened? The bike was running like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you could hear it, 10,000 RPM stops. I thought it looked pretty good coming in. <laughs> you good, bro. Oh, Dude, I swear, these snow bikes are not meant to water skip. I disagree, even though I've sunk twice, I still think that they're made for water skipping. Delusional is optimism, that's what that is. All right, so we got a rope on the buoy, pretty much just tied around the subframe of the R6. Mike is uh, gonna just hook up a rope to the buoy. And then we're gonna just winch it out. I thought everyone was gonna flip us out there. He was freaking out so bad. So cold, I couldn't think. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> that actually came out pretty smooth. I poked my eye on one of the sticks <laughs> and it really hurt. Ev, I think you need to call it a night, man. <laughs> it's literally one of these. It's in my eye right now. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, low key, that hurt my eye, dude. Enough with your eye, Ev. I'm, I thought the camera was on. I'm kidding, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> it just hurt. I just walked right into the...